Hello, my beautiful Gemini's. Welcome to May readings, general reading loves and single Gemini's. This is actually your reading. And of course, it's for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. Single, either you are, consider yourself single, either you are not in a marriage or a committed relationship. Let's allow what's coming up for you. And of course, how this month is gonna bless you, what the energies are for yourself. Oh my goodness, what do you have your major arcanas? Of course, the second part of the month, or let's say after the 21st, we are moving into your season. So happy birthday for those of you who are, you know, the first bloomers of the month. But what I am trying to bring in here is many, many of you, you are going to feel more like home. Coming into your, your own major arcana really speaks that you're going to feel like yourself more and more. And it's it's good to be in your own skin. It's good to feel good, whatever you do. And with the lover's energy here, you definitely have quite a few options out there. Whatever those options are, work-wise, career-wise, or even relationship-wise. Yes, High Priestess, you do know. It's like you don't know clearly, but somehow a little anxious about what is they are up to. For some of you, this is about your your work or what you should put in effort to. Five of Swords, Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. The key for this month is to not rush in making hasty decisions or not rush in doing certain things just because in the moment looks good. For example, in the moment you think this job is the perfect one, but in the long run, there's no growth. For others of you, there is a specific person you feel like it's great to be around but in the long run, you feel that that person is not honest. Actually, it's a fake person and so on. Again, you do have options and it's up to you. And why to rush? Because certain things here definitely are changing. For some of you, your, your way of choosing certain things are different or are going to be different. For some of you, whoever here you are going to choose, if that's a person, will be very different than what you choose till this moment. For example, if you choose someone quite attractive, now you are going to choose someone who looks good, but it's smart. So the priorities on the way you choose are going to be changing or different. Let's see what this is about, loves, and what else. Yeah, some of you are thinking to make a family. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, King of Swords. This is about growing up because we do have here the page, learning lessons and King of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying here. You are going to change the priorities. Five of uh, Pentacles, and then we have Five of Swords. It's like choosing not only based on certain criteria, but based on what really is for the long run. I'm glad that this King, King of Swords is kind of backing this Five of Pentacles. It's on your back. Yes, there's certain losses here, certain things you you might want to recover or you are going to recover. 
but it seems here in time or with the time. And also here we do have the five of pentacles. We have the six, seven, eight. The nine of pentacles is the one missing, which is right now. Focus on you. Work on yourself, on the connection with you. Because for some of you, you might have a strange or conflicted energy within yourself. Or Spirit says, you got to be honest with yourself. Because Five of Swords is like, I do what's right for me and not for the other energies. So something here which doesn't go to the distance might be found out deep inside you. What you truly, truly want, not what others want. What truly actually works, but is not looking for appearances. Because you know the superficial over deep, it's quite different. And it's quite obvious. This is something here about grown up choices and decisions. But it seems here that it could take time. For the Gemini I am speaking here, some of you could be committed before. For many, many of you, you never been committed. And it's kind of like you, you always felt it's hard to have commitment. Or there's so much responsibility having something but neither you don't have anything so whoever i'm speaking now you are probably in your 40s 50s even you are not as young you might be young at heart of course but it's kind of the um, the past two years or past few years you were thinking deeply of what really matters in life what really makes you you and for some of you, you could focus on your career most of your life that's why you were not really focused on commitment and now you are focusing on love because besides the um, pentacles wands swords i have just one ace of cups okay so many many of you you could have other people here of course you know but it's kind of you going to get something let's see here with this ten of wands the wheel and the wheel is also a number 10 major arcana and it's time for you to reconsider certain things or move away from the energy that family it's a burden or family it's a hardship or something here the universe shows you that doesn't need to be hard something is the way you take because any anything here the way you take it that's how you have it and the full as I said doesn't need to be easy the the beginning it's it's kind of this full energy for some of you you might feel like I'm not as young I'm not uh, in this full I can just just go and maybe one day I gotta think throughout yes knight of swords so this month is definitely here about you moving forward from certain things for some of you you could have been grown up in a family which were a big family or you could have a lot of siblings or you could be the one who always helped always been there but you never think of you everybody could rely on you growing up or you always help the family yeah look another Ten of Cups. For some of you, yes, you could have a very hard childhood. And that's why you choose till now whatever you've been choosing. 
but you realize that life goes goes on and at one point everybody will go for others yes you you could have a family but that ended and you could dedicate yourself a lot we have all the court cards of the of the swords here which that really speaks here there's a lot of things here you are thinking and I feel here it's family, money, and you. For those of you who've been committed before, you finally, you finally could have moved even energetically from someone and you now are ready to start a new life. But you feel like not quite. There's a lot of um, a lot of things to, to work on. The Five of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Let go the past. Allow the things that go just to go. And enjoy here and now. Enjoy a good conversation with people. Enjoy new energies with others. Because what you wish, it's coming. Or it's much closer. If you, It's kind of if you are going to improve the connection with you. There's a lot of other improvements. For others of you who want your financial situation to improve, it's kind of by August, you are going to see great improvements. Yes, absolutely. I definitely see here a big recovery, especially for many, many of you who, who hope for that recovery or something better. There is a recovery, financial recovery or money recovery. It's not from the source you lost but it's from another source let's see here king of swords world nine of wands there's something here about letting go of the past and moving to a new energy four of wands there's also here a gemini who either moves or is got, is about to move to a different place and whatever you are going to move you are going to feel much happier or you'll feel free absolutely yes king of pentacles and not only free even your finances will uh, start picking up whatever you go Somebody also, it's in deep prayer. Deep, deep prayer. It's kind of whatever you are praying, it's coming. Just allow it. What advice? Also, the Gemini who felt like the life is so hard is changing from hard to getting better and easier and easier. Or nothing works for me into everything starts to work for me beautifully advice for you don't hold back there's some kind of big loss here let it go you don't need that that energy because that was a static energy it was not a moving energy let it go darlings there's a lot of resistance here for, for what was. But once you realize that letting go and let it transform, because energy transforms every time. And that's when it's kind of like you are starting to get much better. Don't even doubt, darlings. Don't even doubt. Just because something is gone doesn't mean 
you lost because there's a thing here you didn't lost the war you could lost the battle but not the war so let go the past and move forward whoever here is allowing to let go you are gonna go quite far and fast it's kind of like you you keep some kind of blockage there just holding on on the past or on certain things you you are blocking unconsciously most likely most likely your path and that's why in the the beginning here we do have the lovers and the high priestess you know what to choose you know what to do you got the choice loves to hold back or to go forward also the only pentacle here missing is ace of pentacles and two of pentacles because we have three four five yeah might take one step at a time but you're definitely going where you're supposed to so ace of pentacles picks off a new beginning yes two of pentacles is a back and forth so don't go back and forth, but take the lead. That's the chariot here. No matter whoever I'm speaking, you are more in your masculine energy right now than in your feminine. And I might speak with a, with a masculine. But yes, learn and don't hold back. See ya, darlings. Thank you very much for watching. If you really enjoy this reading or any other reading here on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.